Hello magical friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and this is my magical space. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So if you didn't watch my previous video for the dragon uh, challenge, dragon task statue, um, I did recently purchase two items by selling some pins because I was concerned that they were going to retire them because Noble is retiring a lot of items lately. Um, and I, I really did not want to risk not adding these to my collection because we all know that retired items end up costing five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times the amount of money um, on eBay or secondhand stores like the Gerst Opal necklace or proclamation sign from Noble. Ooh, the candles, like my goodness, the price of these things uh, that they sell for. These are Lit Joy and I will be okay with having the Lit Joy candle because the last Vertebrae Noble Collection candle sold for $1,500 on eBay. So, um, yeah, that's not happening. So, Hogwarts Castle from Noble Collection. It has been on my wish list for a long time. Um, and I am just not willing to possibly ever um, lose this replica and I'm not willing to spend uh, a crap ton of money on getting it. So I sold some pins because I am a good girl and I stick to my budget that I have for collecting. Um, and so you just have to prioritize. I have no idea how the hell to get this out of the box. Well, I don't need to work out today because holy crap, that was ridiculous. Like giving childbirth, getting this thing out of the box. I did redo my room, not redo, but I did I like a celestial ceiling. I have um, Luna Love Goods bedroom ceiling being done by an amazing artist, Classy Birds Design, that I am turning into a wallpaper and putting on the ceiling over there. I've got the fat lady, um, huge door thing going over there. So I am adding a little bit more of a magical touch to this space so i will be doing a new room tour shortly okay i know that they pack their items really well but holy crap So we've got the beautiful base and it's got the Hogwarts inscription name engraved here um, with a very beautiful gold. And it, I think this is actually just metal. It's not even painted um, band that goes all the way around. So I will put the front towards you. Now let's hope it's not as complicated getting this sucker out. Terrifying. It's stunning, you guys. I know I'm quiet, I'm sorry. I know that there are so many different variations of the Hogwarts statue. Um, you can get one through Department 56. You can get one, um, you know, like a rugged 3D puzzle one. You can get the other Cityscape puzzle. Um, you can get the Funko. Hogwarts. How else do I have Hogwarts? You can get the Spin Master Play Hogwarts. The only other Hogwarts I would say that comes close 
um, detail and cost wise would be the, I don't know if you guys have seen this one. Um, and I'm never taking it out of the box just so that we are all clear. This is the long retired Xmas Christmas, Xmas Christmas, sorry, the Xmas Hogwarts. Um, and so that is the E-X-M-A-S. They released Hogwarts, the Quidditch pitch and um, Hagrid's hut. And it was meant to be like a Christmas village. So this is LED, um, there's lights, there's sounds. It's quite beautiful actually. Um, you can see on the side that like all of Hogwarts lights up and it plays um, different noises. It's, it's stunning. Um, these are very expensive and very hard to come by, especially still sealed in its packaging. But detail wise, I would say that these two are very similar um, in their detail. Yeah. Um, for reference, I got the Hogwarts Castle, uh, Hagrid's Hut, and the Quidditch Pitch for $800. Um, <laughs> and that was a really good deal because um, first off, they wanted $1,200. Uh, but second off, if you go on to eBay and look at last solds, you're paying for $500 per each item. I'll grab those so you can see them. So this is the Quidditch pitch by Xmas. Once again, I'm not taking this out of the box. This one is extremely rare. They've never really done a Quidditch pitch before and these have never been out of the box. So um, I would like to keep them that way. But this was, this, this would have been a beautiful Christmas village had the company not gone under because uh, and they were releasing the burrow next, which is just heartbreaking because they um, they really knew how to do detail. Okay, so back to back to this. I mean, you have your options. This obviously is two hundred and ninety five US dollars. That's a lot of money for something this big. Um, you can buy the Department Fifty. I mean, the Department Fifty Six ones are almost the exact same price, I guess. Um, so maybe that's like what the standard going rate is. As I yawn. I got up at 4.30 this morning because I am working on the, <laughs> the fat lady portrait for one of my doors, like actually making it into a, not just like putting a poster up in the door, but like painting everything gold and I, um, got a lot of like appliques and I'm making it look like an actual archway rounded type picture frame. So I have ADHD and I don't sleep long, but I also, when I have projects to do, um, tend to not be able to sleep because I'm thinking about them. And so it's just easier to get up and complete them. Um, so I am a little tired because I yesterday received the Hogwarts castle from like the noble order, um, the dragon tasks, whatever challenge thing. Um, and then I also received my Nimbus 2001, which I still, I will record after this. Um, but yeah, I was so focused on all of my projects yesterday that I did not unbox this until the next day, which is absolutely, unheard of in my world because I have no patience. Um, but yeah, it's, it's stunning. And I'm, you know, I would say if it's on your list, definitely, I mean, don't sell a kidney, but if you have a really good pin to sell, sell that. I sold an Amelia B3 Weasley family clock in case anybody is curious. Um, and that is, 
essentially what paid for this for me. Um, and I'm not a huge pin collector, so it was not, it was not a loss. And you have to prioritize what you want to have in your collection and when, what your focus is. And I love Noble Collection and I want to have as many of the replicas as I can in my collection. And, um, sadly they are retiring so many. So let me know your thoughts. I'm curious, are you a Noble Collection fan? Are you a Department 56 fan? Well, I feel like I'm missing some. There's like so many. Um, Harry Potter Hogwarts statues lately, I feel. They're just like popping up everywhere. Um, like, subscribe, follow me, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Stay tuned for a new room tour because Holy crap, has this room changed so much in the last year? It's insane. Uh, and yeah, once again, lit joy. Because I swear, everybody who sees these is like, where did you get them? Lit joy. Just go buy them from lit joy. Do not pay $1,500 on eBay. Do not pass go. Do not collect $100. Guys, I don't think that these are probably worth $1,500. So if the vertebrae candles have been on your list, uh, go to LitJoy, buy them. They look gorgeous. Buy a candle stand, put them on there and check it off of your list and move on. Uh, so yeah, there's my advice to you. Nothing but love and Lumos for the week ahead. Thanks guys.